Mark. Okay. <laughs> no, why? Uh, I kind of like this. No. Uh, yes. Leave a mark on me. <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> Hi, Misa. What's the safe word? I'm Mr. Christopher. And I'm Paul. And today we're going to talk about impact play. I can't wait. They're going to leave a real impact on all this. It's going to make a mark on you. Sure. <laughs> so what's the history of impact play? Well, the earliest form of impact play was graphically represented on an Etruscan burial site sometime in the 6th century, where some paintings displayed a woman being caned oh. by two men with like, raging hard eyes. So that was kind of erotic. They're being um, caned by their dicks. No, no. Just with the cane with <laughs> no, the canes. <laughs> Although maybe they have big enough penises to cane the woman. Maybe they know. confused the canes with the hard ones. Oh. So the painting it was just so 9th century BC Artemis Dorothea, which was one of the most religious parts of the Spartan Empire. So imagine the guys from 300 getting flagellated. Yeah, they made a whole movie over that. Yeah, no, it's pretty much exactly that. That's all it was. <laughs> Real hot. <laughs> then it was mentioned all throughout history. Roman poets actually make mention of it in poetry in the first and second century, so that was like kind of the earliest form, but not really graphically represented. And the Karma Sutra described four or different types of hitting during love making and cries of pain as you joy. 14th century medieval times, they mentioned it as uh, courtly slavish devotion, courtly love. Devotion. What does that mean? Um, so that's like the earlier form of BDSM where love and devotion was also like a master slave. Yeah, yeah. also it could be a master so slave thing. Kinky was love. Yeah. yeah. Also talk about Mar Marquis de Sade all the time. Yeah, we talked about him in a previous video, the Kink 101 video. Yeah. You should probably go link to it like right there. Your hand is completely off camera. <laughs> there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> It's above us, somewhere. You're so good at this. Yeah. <laughs> you should have your own show. I'm gonna I, zoom I, in I on your own show. Thank you. Your own show? <laughs> my own show? Okay, well, you can go film your own show without my <laughs> Alright, alright, alright. All right. <laughs> when we talk about impact play, uh, what kind of feelings does it invoke in you? You can, you can talk personally. For me, it invokes, like, uh, the endorphins I get from afterwards is more sure. what I really and during it, I get in this like place in the back of my head, and I'm, I'm very aware of what's happening. It's just very like I'm not there. It's kind of it makes you kind of um, uh, lots of people describe it as a floating sensation. Exactly. Right. That <laughs> it kind of gives you a natural high, mm -hmm. and that's the endorphins. Yes. There's also it commands attention. Mm -hmm. So when you hear that sound, that sensation, really quickly, you become very alert to the person that is controlling you or you're playing with. I, it brings up emotional things inside of me when I sub. For some reason, it makes me feel more connected and trusting of my partner. I'm allowing them to hurt me a little bit and it trust them not to hurt me too much and just hurt me enough. So it builds a bit bonding as well. A bead of sweat. Oh my god, it's white. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Can I get a new co-host, please? <laughs> oh. Thanks! Uh. Impact play can be done wrong, right? and it can be hurtful, and you don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about safety. It's very important. Communicate. Yes. Negotiating. Negotiate. Right? That's what it's called. Called. Both parties are allowed here to say, this is what I want and what I don't want. Mm -hmm. The top needs to be very, very aware of the uh, that they're playing with. Check breathing patterns, noise. You need to sense whether you're going too far or not. Yes. Uh, and it's also important for the sub to speak up if it is too much. And use that safe word. And use that safe yes. word. Don't feel like you can't. It's your body, you have to protect your body. If you want to avoid certain areas, there are some really important spots you don't want to permanently damage. On the back, avoid the spine. Also, right here, in Bolt's ticklish zone, are the kidneys. <laughs> don't, this lower spot right here, you don't want to flog or cause 
hard damage. This is really hard unless you're tickling it. Hates that. Hates that. At the very end, right here, avoid the tailbone. Uh, when you're spanking, smacking, paddling, flogging, right here. You don't want to break this part. Never, ever hit the neck, either front or back. There's a windpipe here, spine in the back. You don't ever want to damage or hurt that. It's usually joints, ears. You don't want to hit, hit the ears. A, it's not sexy, and B, it could cause serious, serious problems. Places you could tread a little lightly. The face, obviously you don't want to permanently damage anyone's face, but sometimes we slap each other in the face just to get some attention. Just don't go too hard. Other areas that are really good that um, are big, meaty areas. But Holt, he's got some nice, firm pecs. He can take a good pounding on those. His back, upper back, are big, meaty, wide areas right here. And the shoulder blades, avoiding the neck. Um, that can take a punch. Usually ass. Big, meaty, bulbous ass can take all sorts of impact play. Uh, <laughs> someone asks you if you want to do impact play, um, sometimes they'll ask you, do you prefer thud or sting? Swing! <laughs> do you, what do you prefer? Uh, thud. I prefer thud too. <laughs> and there's probably a reason for that. Thud isn't as sharp a pain as a sting. You gotta warm up. Warm them up, right. Don't just go, and don't just do a <laughs> You wanna warm them up, slowly, just get the sensation nice and even. Ramp up into it. And then when you get to that point where you can tell that the sub is starting to <laughs> What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? <laughs> what is it? Uh, is there a word? Is like a definition for that? No, it's just a feeling. <laughs> the point of it's almost too much. Yeah. Yes. So pause. Pause and check take a in. breath. Yes. And just touching them slightly gives a reassuring feeling. Do you like this moment? Yes, I like this moment. Yes. And you're just like, ooh. <laughs> oh, okay. Everything's aware, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's like when Dorothy steps into Oz for the first time. Like, color. <laughs> it's a Dorothy moment. Probably, yeah, it's a Dorothy moment. <laughs> the Dorothy threshold. <laughs> That's probably the gayest analogy I've ever heard. <laughs> Might be. Flying ever. When the scene's over, usually the, the sub is going to be in a very emotional, raw space. Hello. So aftercare is very, very important because of that. You need to make the sub feel safe, love, uh, and usually that's just going to come out anyway because they're going to be so emotionally involved in the scene. Yes. <laughs> and yeah. high and thankful and just overwhelmed sometimes by all the sensations going on all at once. Yes. Oh, so good. Thank you for letting me meet you. And then it's always good to check in the day or two after with the person you played with. Just make sure they're doing okay and they still had a great time and uh, all it's in important. a good emotional state. Yeah. <laughs> and as we were talking about in negotiation, uh, it was good to have a safe word. Yes. And today's safe word is... Uh, Maria! I just met a girl named Maria! Uh, a impact play. <laughs> makes you want to sing. Don't forget to hit that like button or subscribe button or just give it, give any of those buttons at Dorothy Moment <laughs> and comment on our videos. We like to hear from you and we will see you next time guys. Bye! Bye. Back in the moment. This is what we're doing here. See, it works. Yeah. <laughs> He's not Dorothy. He's not Dorothy yet. I want Dorothy. I see Toto. Give me Dorothy. Jeez, producer, stop it! <laughs> the director wasn't Dorothy, you know, I'll give him this photo. Uh -uh. Okay.